Thank you, Steve, for joining us today. It's uh, 14th of February. It's a sound healing day. We, we celebrate as World International Sound Healing Day. And uh, thank you for joining us uh, mm -hmm. in India. Mm -hmm. So, Steve, for sound healers, uh, gongs are very inspiring, and your gongs and sound sculptures are very inspiring for us. So, what inspires you? Many things, dreams especially. Mm -hmm. um, as a young girl, I was really into gong sounds and bells, whatever. Uh, growing up, I hardly ever saw a gong. It was one of my money in Wales. And when I was 18, I found an LP in the Cardiff Market, and it was Andre Chintazzo with two Italian guys. I had Chintazzo, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just this crazy picture of this Italian guy with these Italian made gongs and cymbals and bells and British made drums, Premier. So yeah, he was working with UPIP. And you think we're a very amazing company, they still are, you know, I mean, they make some of the greatest Indeed. percussion stuff you can find. Indeed. But in the 70s, Andre developed with UFIP, like the Ice Belt, which became very well known. A lot of companies have stolen that idea, mm -hmm. and they never got the credit in UFIP. Mm -hmm. But they developed a lot of very unusual kind of gongs, very pioneering, and a lot of different percussion sounds and drums. Mm -hmm. So that was really inspiring, so I bought the LP went back and listened to it, it was improvised music, but very different from like the British approach, which is more kind of full on intense. This had a lot more space, so you could actually hear the gongs floating and the bells. So that was one of the first inspirations really with gong sounds. And it wasn't until after I've been a professional musician for 10 years, I was in Denver, and in 1990, I decided it was just impossible to find gongs that you could afford. It was really, really pricey. All this stuff from Asia. So uh, a friend of mine had a workshop. I went down there. I cut up some discs from stainless steel mm -hmm. and just tried hammering. I mean, obviously the, the beginning was rough. But within two years, some of the best musicians in Scandinavia were actually using small line creations. And it just sort of went on from there. And parallel to that, I was making sculptures in stainless steel and in iron for outdoor, you know, just visual stuff. And also sound sculptures. As sculptures that make sounds, and still work as a musician, so the whole thing became part of one thing, the audience followed each other. But the actual unusual shapes I came out with in the light, it was about 94, that was for dreams. Very, very, very vivid dreams where I saw like a dragon's wing on a drum kit that was made of bronze, and the drummer was playing it, and everybody was going into trance, and it was so strong when I woke up, it was still there. And I heard a handful of very, very powerful dreams when I see instruments that don't exist in our world and it stays with me and perhaps I can't build it exactly like it was in the dream, but it's like a catalyzer for something else. So I see you are in India right now with us and you're enjoying your chai. Chai is very nice. Chai is very nice, very, very and, nice I, and I believe yeah. in the last two days I've noticed you enjoy Indian food. Oh, the food is great. Well, you know, Growing up in the UK, the food is, you know, the Brits are not really known for their cuisine. Okay. But there was a lot of Indian people in Britain, so Indian food was that, thankfully. So yes, like I would say, for Indian food. Well, so, so, so in addition to enjoying some Indian food and vegetarian food here, what gifts of talent do you think you're going to bring to us and what you might like take it back to in, from India to you? Well, I'm sure I'll take back some wonderful memories and some great inspiration. I've only been here two days, so it's all still very new. But I felt at home immediately, actually. As soon as I got through the immigration, I felt very okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. immigration is all And even the immigration, actually, was quite okay. You yeah. did mention it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, it could have been a lot worse. They, they were quite friendly. Yeah. So what brings you to India this time? You, you invited me. Oh, wow, <laughs> thank you. Thank you yeah. for accepting Well, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yes, it's really wonderful to be here. Well, uh, well, I was blessed to have a gong, two gongs by Steve. Both were the only pieces. As you can see, one here, which is the Evolution Gong. And it's about 18 inches. Yeah. I can hold it in my one finger. Though it's extremely lightweight and small, and yet the sound is quite big. Very deep at one end and quite high at another end. And I think everybody who has seen your gong has fallen in love and I always say no, no, it's not for sale. Mm -hmm. But I hope one day you can get Steve's gongs or his sound structures. So I hope, um, 
We hope, uh, I meaning we hope that your trip is good. I'm sure it will be. And uh, that you'll uh, probably see some beautiful spaces in India as well. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. and we get to see more work of yours in India. Yeah, well, it's, it's one big adventure. It's great. It is. Yeah. So is there any particular shape or geometrical, sacred geometrical shape or anything inspiring from India you may think you may want to make? I mean, I do know you made something which is called the, the conch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? The yes. conch? Um, I can't even really remember how I kind of started to make one. Um, it's probably over 10 years ago. Yeah, so I was living in Prague. That's the first one I made. And uh, yeah, a very good musician in Prague has that one. It was basically an idea to, to work with you know spinning instruments <laughs> to see if I could come up with a really nice shape. Well, I mean I can't say I invented a conch because it comes from nature. But I developed a way of creating them where I think they sound quite nice, and they can be very lightweight and very powerful sounding, good resonance. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, thank and you very much. I can tune them too, so they're very accurate in the sound. Well, I look forward. I mean, I do know you made a conch today, yes, so, so so hopefully we'll have another discussion with you yeah. on that okay. today. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, Steve, for being with us. Thank and you so uh, much. I'm so glad you're in India with us, and especially with me. I'm very very pleased. Uh, meaning after a meeting about four or five years ago in England. I think it was even longer than that. Much longer than that. I think it was actually over ten years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, well, something like that. Something like that. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Great. Cheers.